Mr. Bucci, can we ask you a quick question, please, sir? No Weren't you going to talk Come to on, us? Bucci. Come, Come on, Bucci. The Mr. questions Bucci, for Dino Bucci started last October when a local businessman seeking a $150,000 permit refund from the township sued Bucci, accusing him of wanting half that kicked back. Bucci finally speaks out in this testimony. No, that is not true. In his deposition, Bucci turned the tables in his civil suit, making the claim it was not him who asked for cash, but rather it was offered to him by the businessman. And at that point, he offered me a $40,000 bribe to make it. Well, so now Mr. Magnoli offered you a bribe? He did. Okay. And was this conversation recorded? I don't record my conversations. Okay. And, uh, and what was your response to that? I told him it was 1,000% illegal. I immediately called the township attorney and told him what happened. You did not call the police, correct? I did not. Bucci is also questioned in this deposition about the feds charging fellow Macomb Township trustee Cliff Freitas with eight counts of bribery. According to FBI court documents, Freitas worked for Rizzo Environmental and helped his employer get a lucrative trash contract in his township. On June 1st, Freitas would plead guilty to conspiracy to have his prison sentence reduced from 10 years to less than half. And your deal is you have to cooperate. Are you going to flip on somebody else? The feds have also moved into the office of Macomb County Public Works, and the commissioner says several employees have been called to testify before a federal grand jury in downtown Detroit. I, I sort of get the impression it's about uh, Dino Bucci and perhaps uh, Anthony Morocco as well. We recently tried to talk with Bucci again. On the advice of legal counsel, I can't answer any questions, Jim. Thanks anyway. So. Are you worried about Mr. Freitas pleading guilty? Does that affect you at all? Mr. Kurtzner, I think I've answered your question, but thank you. What about uh, Candace Miller says you're under investigation by the FBI and Public Works? Mr. Kurtzner. I've answered your question three times on the advice of legal counsel. I have no comment. You sound to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Bucci has countersued, saying the civil lawsuit was filed last fall to cause him to lose his re-election to the township board. But he won, and Bucci testified he's the victim. They're calling me an extortionist. Tell me how you don't think that that's not an attack on my credibility and my reputation anywhere. Bucci says he's out of a full-time job and has suffered. Humiliation. People uh, don't look at you the right way. They don't call you anymore because they're scared because of the accusation that was put towards me. And to be quite honest with you, without getting offensive to the people in the room, I'm pretty pissed off about this. This isn't right. I've been accused of something that I didn't do. And Bucci testified he's been unfairly tied to the feds. Ongoing investigation. I'm not a part of the Rizzo investigation. Have you been questioned by the FBI regarding the Rizzo sure. Services investigation? Not that. That's not relevant. Bucci's attorney would block all of those questions, but Bucci was not taking the fifth, he said, and as Bucci walked out of that deposition, we wondered how he would answer to the serious criminal allegations. Did you answer truthfully? On uh, advice of counsel, I, I had no comment. Dino Bucci's not been charged with any crime. The feds never discuss an ongoing investigation. And the attorney suing Bucci in that civil lawsuit is going back to the judge with a motion to compel Bucci to answer those additional questions. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.